day three of the novena to our mother of perpetual help. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we reflect today on the witness of the scriptures to Mary. In the Gospel of John, the words of the Blessed Virgin Mary are spoken before Jesus begins his ministry. And we do not hear of Mary's words again. The words are spoken at the wedding at Cana. And Mary's words have something to do with their concern for the people, with their care and motherly instinct. They had run out of wine. And instinctively, Mary turns to her son and says, they have no wine. After those words, there is an exchange with Jesus. And Mary turns to the stewards and says to them, do whatever he tells you. Those are the last words spoken by Mary. Do whatever he tells you. I wonder what those words mean to you. And yet I think they are words that speak to us about trust. They speak to us about obedience. And they speak to us about faith. With those words, Mary, who had given birth to the word, gives birth to the adult ministry of Jesus. She had complete trust in her son. She had faith in her son. And she knew that her son was capable of doing something. And hence, in that faith, she turns to the stewards and says to them, do whatever he tells you. Lo and behold, when they fill the jars with water, Jesus turns them, turns the water into wine. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, through Mary, something of joy touches those who were the wedding feast. Something of goodness is given to the guests. And yet all is possible because of her instinctive care as a mother. It's in that instinct of hers that she turns to the son. It's in that faith that she possesses that Mary intercedes for the couple and spares them embarrassment. She is that mother who still points us to the son today. Those words are echoed in our lives. She says to us in all places and all occasions, when we are in doubt, when we are assailed by uncertainties, remember, the Lord is in your presence. The Lord is closer to you than you think. Tend to him. 
listen to him and do whatever he tells you. And when we listen to Mary's son, when we do what he tells us, he changes the water in our lives to wine. He fills us with joy, with gladness. And our lives will no longer be the same. And so today let us turn to Christ, the son of Mary, with faith, trust, and obedience, knowing that whatever he tells us will be for our good.